Hello everybody, it is Zombie with Two Eyes, and welcome back to my channel. I may be undead, but I look alive thanks to makeup, skincare, and hair care. And it is time for episode 16 of Declutter Saturday. We have another exciting 10 products this week, and we've got three face products, two eye products, and five lip products. Let's get started. So the first product we have is an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. I apologize for the very shiny packaging. So this is a really nice, like, rosy gold color. I got this in a boxy charm, and it's just a very like light pinky rose colored blush and there's not a ton to it there's not really any sheen um it's fairly matte um it's just kind of plain but i do like me a nice plain blush when i have like a really exaggerated eye or a lip it gives me the ability to just kind of put some light color on the cheeks just to give it some glow so i'm going to keep this one for now I know these probably are going to take me a 10,000 years to use, but I think it'll be a fun thing to use up. Next we have something from Sleek Makeup. This is their highlighting palette in Distorted Dreams, another shiny package. Um, so this is just an assorted highlighting palette. We have some cream products and some uh, powder products in here. So I've had this thing for quite a long time. I'm not sure how well these are going to pick up on camera. So there's five different highlighters. First you have this cream, which is a like a white to pinky purple shift. Next you have a golden um, highlighter here. Then you have the blue cream highlighter, which is just a, a clear to blue. Then you have a green, which is just a green highlighter. And then you have a very nice pink powder. So oddly enough, I actually really like these. They're super duper cute. Though I had this palette for a really long time, I actually think I'm going to put this in my to use right now because I've had this for such a long time. Um, and it still is really, really creamy. There's nothing really wrong with it. So I think I'm going to start using this in my day-to-day -day looks. And hopefully these pans aren't super deep. So hopefully I'll run out of this fairly soon. So I'm going to keep this one and actually start using it ASAP. And the final face product is a Becca Chloe Loves Malika. Another shiny packaging. Uh, face palette that's huge I hate how bulky the packaging is for this like it's way too thick for what it needs to be but it's an all-over face palette so you have two blushes a contour and a highlighter so let's swatch these as well so here are the face palette swatches um, the highlight is actually kind of cute it's so this is glow up this is just a really nice champagne gold color Next you have Fierce, which is just this like bronzy red toned blush. Then you have Fablosity, which is another blush, which is more of like a pinky rose tone. And then you have Coco Bronze, which is a matte contour. The contour though is kind of on the patchy side. It doesn't really come out pretty well. And this is two swatches of it. So I'm not super enthused about it, to be honest. So I'm going to give this to my mother and see if she would prefer to use this. She may actually get a lot of use out of this and enjoy this. So I'm going to see if she would rather have it than me. So I'm going to consider that a declutter. So out of my three face items, I'm going to be keeping two and decluttering one slash giving it to my mother. Um, just because, like I said, she will probably get more use out of it than me. On to the eyes. So we have two eye products today. The first shadow is a Shiro Cosmetics shadow in Riddles in the Dark. It is a really pretty dark forest green shadow with a buttload of glitter. And today we will be swatching with my Luxie Deluxe Large Shader Brush. So this is Drop Dead Gorgeous. It is a beautiful black based green. It actually looks more black than green on camera, but it's got a bunch of gorgeous glitter in it of gold and green and you can see it's got like a green shift with a black base i adore this it's ever like minusculely patchy but i'm totally okay with that because this is no primer 
So I'm definitely keeping this. I'm going to press this. This is to die for color. Um, I, I am obsessed. This is fantastic. So I'm definitely keeping that. And then the other item is a Notoriously Morbid palette. This is Aim With My Eye. This was from one of their um, advent calendars, I think. I think this was the last year's the Halloween advent calendar. And it's got such a really pretty springy, bright color story with like this really nice brown to kind of deepen everything. I love this palette. So let me swatch it for you. So the one thing that I didn't like about this palette is that there is no mattes going on. It's all shimmers, but look at that. These are all single swipes. So one swipe only, barely touching the palette. So first you have Gunslinger, which is this gorgeous gold highlighty color. Um, this is great for an inner highlight. It almost has like a bluish tone to it, but it's also got a lot of silver glitter in here. So it gives off a little bit of a silvery vibe too in certain lights. Next we have this orange, which is Ka, and it's a really gorgeous orange color. It's just this nice metallic orange, but it has like pink qualities to it if you look like carefully. Next we have Crimson King, which is this nice bright fuchsia pink. Not really something I would wear a ton, but it goes really well with the brights in this palette. It's also got some pink glitter. Then we have Thanky, which is this beautiful bright uh, purple uh, with some blue and gold green qualities. I don't know if you can see, it's really hard to capture the duochrome in this, but in away from the light, it gives off a green glow. It's beautiful. And then finally, we have Beginnings End, which is this absolutely stunning chocolate brown color. Like... There's nothing wrong with this color at all. It's absolutely gorgeous and it has like a slight red shift to it. It's stunning. So as you can probably guess, I'm definitely not getting rid of this. This is definitely a highlighted like spring summer palette for me, especially because it's got these brights in here that just make everything pop and they blend amazingly. There's no issues with blending on these. I just, I love this palette. So I am not getting rid of any eye products. So now we are moving on to the lips. We have five lip products. We have two bullet lipsticks, a lip gloss, and two liquid lipsticks. So first we'll start off with the bullet lipsticks. The first is a sample. This is an Armani, what is this? An Armani Rouge Matte in their red color. I don't know what the color is, but it's just a little sample. I got this in an allure box as like a thank you for being a yearly subscriber. Um, it's just a classic red. Nothing super special in my opinion. Um, I haven't actually tried this on my lips. I've only swatched this, so I can't really be like, this formula is fantastic. But um, it feels really smooth. It does feel a little dry, which I'm not a big fan of, but we'll give it a shot at some point and see. Uh, the next one is actually what's on my lips right now. This is a MAC Mineralized Rich Lady at Play lipstick. It's this beautiful orange coral color. Um, I actually got this as a gift. And I was totally like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to wear this. And I actually love this color. I have a couple corals that are super similar to this. But I love the formula because it's super satiny and super moisturizing. And I never feel like I have to reapply. Like I put this on probably over an hour ago. And I don't have to reapply it. It's great. So next we have a Lime Crime Lip Blaze in Olive. This is kind of one of their liquid lipsticks. But it's more of like a gloss. It doesn't dry down. And it's this beautiful, warmy, toned brown color. So I actually love the formula of these. They're super duper moisturizing. Super 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 pigmented and the color of this one is probably one of my favorites this really nice dark brown i'm actually wearing this in one of my videos so i'm not getting rid of this either next we have a melt cosmetics liquid matte lipstick in sequel so you can see this is a purple berry color and i got this in their valentine's day collection a couple years back this is a gorgeous berry plum it's dark it's vampy it's something i love to wear um and for some reason this one smells more fruit punchy and it doesn't give off that paint smell like some of their other ones do um but i love this it's super gorgeous i'm definitely not getting rid of this either um I like this color story I've got going on. 
And then the last one is a Notoriously Morbid Mystic Matte in the Hollow inside, which I think is another one of their Halloween Advent Calendar colors. This is a really pretty pumpkin orange color. Uh, with some green glitter in it. On top of this color smelling like a pumpkin spice latte, it's this beautiful pumpkin color and it definitely has a lot of really pretty green glitter in it. Um, I love this color. I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely another favorite orange of mine. I love pumpkin colors. So I'm definitely also not getting rid of this one. Uh, this one's definitely staying in my collection. So I'm not getting rid of any lipsticks. And we've actually quickly reached the end of this video and the only thing I'm getting rid of is this face palette um, and I'm going to be gifting this to my mother if she wants it. So that is it for this video. I uh, did, totally did not meet goal this week but I don't always expect to meet goal every time. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe but only if you feel like it. Uh, please remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and embrace those amazing moments. I got vaccinated today. So I got my first dose today, so I'm super excited about that. Um, and I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Bye!